All right, back with another video. Um, I gotta talk about Francis Ngannou, man, because he's been released from the UFC. Um, this is huge news. Um, Dana White just announced it after the UFC Vegas um, Apex fight today. Um, they released Francis Ngannou. Um, he was the current heavyweight um, champion. So now he has been stripped of that title. So now there is a vacant heavyweight title currently in the UFC. Um, what's crazy is that there's two vacant titles right now for the UFC. There's a vacant heavyweight title and there's a vacant light heavyweight title, which is crazy to think about. Um, obviously, the light heavyweight title will be decided next Saturday um, between Jamal Hill and Glover Teixeira. But at the moment, in the current moment, we don't have a light heavyweight champion. We don't have a heavyweight champion in the UFC. Um, yeah, with Francis Ngannou, we all know he fought um, last year in January against Cyril Gaon. Um, at the Honda Center in Anaheim, I was at, I was at the fight. Um, it was a good fight. He used his wrestling to help him um, win that fight and, and ultimately edge out a victory over Cyril Gain, Cyril Gain. Um But he injured his knee, and he went. I think he went into that fight with an injured knee, or he injured his knee in the fight. And uh, he's had a long road for recovery. I still don't have an update on what exactly was the time frame i know the ufc really really wanted to do francis nagano versus john jones that's a blockbuster pay-per-view event um i don't think you can make a bigger fight um than francis nagano and john jones for john jones um i still believe that francis nagano versus john jones is a bigger fight than john jones versus cyril gone um i believe that uh that fight would have uh jones versus nagano would have done will do more pay-per-view numbers than uh, Gone versus uh, Jones. But um, contract issues with, with Francis Nagano, I believe, was ultimately is what led to his uh, him being released um, from the company. I know he had mentioned all the time uh, he wants to fight Tyson Fury. He wants to do these other boxing matches where you can make hundreds of millions of dollars. Obviously, everyone saw Conor McGregor. Um, fight Floyd while under the UFC contract and the UFC kind of helped promote the fight because the UFC was getting the percentage um, They're not gonna do that for anybody else. The UFC won't I mean that was a one-time deal for Conor McGregor Dana White is smart now and the way they have these contracts set with the UFC is once you fight under the UFC And you're under contract with the UFC you cannot fight for any other organization you can do like jiu-jitsu um, and stuff like that, but you can't fight under any organization. Even if you retire and your contract, you're still under contract with the UFC, you still can't fight for no other organization. So the UFC is very, very smart at how they uh, they put together these contracts because they knew that if, hey, if I don't have it in this contract that they can't fight nowhere else, somebody could fight, quote unquote, retire, sign somewhere else, make a big fight, make a million dollars, and maybe not even come back to my company. So he's smart for binding them down to the UFC that if you sign here, you, you can only fight here. And it's a smart way, and it's a good way of keeping your employees or keeping your fighters. Now, the deal with Francis Nagano is, is he wanted more money. He kept complaining, I don't make enough money. I'm the heavyweight champion of the world. I should get 10 million plus. And um, should he have been getting paid more? Yeah, I do think he should get paid more. But ultimately, the UFC assesses your value and they look at the numbers you bring in and they, you know, pay you accordingly, especially as a champion, right? And so he was never going to get that crazy amount of money. Um, but the UFC really, really wanted to push this fight to make John Jones happen. So Dana White said that they offered Francis Ngannou a contract that would have made him the highest paid heavyweight champion of the world. And he still denied it. So... Um, it, it really looks like Francis Ngannou is at a crossroads of the UFC and really wanted to just go ahead and explore a free agency. There's plenty of places that will sign him for big money, more money than he would make in the UFC. He's 100% right about that. Um, but man, you have to you have to feel for the guy, right? Because there's other places that you can sign for, but there's no other place that gives you the um, the spotlight, that gives you the platform the UFC gives you, right? Ultimate Fighting Championship, the UFC is the premier promotion. So, um, the UFC had no other option. They went ahead and released him. And now Francis Ngannou can sign anywhere he wants. And he's the free agent. So, that's the news for Francis Ngannou. I wish him all the best in the future. But he is no longer in the UFC. And he has been relinquished of the heavyweight title. And he's out of the UFC. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Back again tomorrow another video.